In this video, I'm going to be looking into Hotshot's free AI video generator. I'll share with you my favorite prompts and to show you what Hotshot does better than other video generators. Plus, I made a short film using videos created in Hotshot, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get into it. I've left a free document down below containing all the prompts I've used in this video, so feel free to grab that. So let's jump straight onto the Hotshot website. At the moment of recording this video, you can only do text to video, but I'm sure they will add more features in the future. It is technically free to use. They give you three free generations per day. Now, I know this might not seem like much, but there's nothing stopping you from, say, making five different emails and creating accounts with Hotshot, which will then give you 15 free generations per day, which I think is actually pretty good. But if you did want to pay, it's not that cheap, to be honest. But I think it's just worth doing the free daily videos to start with. So to start off, if you don't quite have any ideas, then you can use their idea prompts here. And if you click this little arrow sign, it will change the prompts. So let's try this one, a woman staring out of the window on a subway train, which will kick us off into our first area, where I'm going to look at how well Hotshot generates videos of people. Okay, so it's added in that prompt. And what's great is you can choose to have portrait, square, or landscape. And you can also choose to enhance prompt. So I'll try one without enhance prompt, and then I'll do one with enhance prompt, and I'll show you what it does to it. Okay, so this is the video without the enhanced prompt. As you can see, it leaves the prompt here, and I think it looks really good. I feel like people are one of the strengths of Hotshot. It has a really nice natural movement, and even the train movement behind is consistent and looks really, really good. And from here, you can choose to regenerate, which uses the same prompt, copy the link, or download your video. Now, if we look at the enhanced prompt version, it looks really good again. There's nothing too dissimilar. It's just a different woman on a train. So it shows the prompt I gave it, but if you want to see the enhanced prompt, then come down to this little eye symbol down here and it will show you the full enhanced prompt that it created. I believe it takes the prompt and puts it into a LLM to enhance it and add more to it, which is really interesting as it's kind of added a lot more detail into the prompt, but I don't think the outcome is that much different to be honest. So here are some more videos I've created of people, and this one is of a student studying at night, and it's just incredible the kind of nuances on the face, the lip movement, you can tell she's kind of really focusing on something, and the lighting is very realistic. And here we have a close-up of an old man talking at a convenience store in front of the cereal aisle. It reminds me of someone doing like a TV interview on the news. And here we have a woman taking a selfie in Tokyo, and it has a really natural kind of movement. And again, this one looks so natural and realistic. So a woman with short hair talks to someone off camera, and it does actually look like she's talking to someone just over our shoulder. And the handheld movement to it just adds that extra step of realism. And this is one of Hotshot's videos that they created, and I think it's just stunning. The subtle reflection in the water, it just looks so good. And this one of the girl on her phone at the subway, the movement is just so realistic. Her thumb scrolling on the phone, the people in the background, it's pretty incredible. Here's a few more videos of people I've generated in Hotshot. Now let's move on to human expressions. Now this is where I think Hotshot really does shine compared to other video generators. So this is one of Hotshot's videos and it's nailed the expression on this kid. And you can even see the subtle eye movement. And here we have a woman looking concerned and in this one, a boy smiling. And it's just incredibly natural. It does really well at these close-up videos. As you can see, it's got this really cinematic, shallow depth of field, and the lighting is incredible. Here I did a secret agent with a determined expression, and it doesn't look robotic at all. You can feel what the person is feeling behind the eyes. And in this one, an old man looking concerned. This one is a little bit goofy and kind of funny, but this is frustrated on the verge of tears. It does really good exaggerated expressions in this one. But it's impressive that it goes from her having the hands on her face to revealing her face and not screwing it up too much. We have a boy crying here and it just knows exactly how to convey those emotions through the video. 
And here we have a very angry man, and I decided to put a fire behind him. And it looks great, it's got the fire kind of reflecting on his skin there, and he does look very angry. Now let's have a look at creating green screen footage. So this is great if you want to add an element into your video. Like this example here, I put a prompt of a burning fire with explosions, green screen background. And then you can use your own video editor, or you can use a free online one like CapCut and drag in your video file and then come to Smart Tools and either use Auto Remove Background or Chroma Key. And then you just select the green color and it will get rid of that background. Now you can change the intensity of it, but you've got to be careful that you don't put it too high. And there you go. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. And here's another video that I did of a moon slowly spinning on a bright green background. And I'll add that one in. I'll come to Smart Tools. And for this one, I'll use Auto Remove Background. And there you go. We have our moon. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's kind of cool if you just want to add something into your videos. Now, continuing on with effects, let's have a look at how well Hotshot works with creating visual effects. Hotshot works really well with elements like fire, as you can see in this one. And the prompt is a ball of flames in a market. And it illuminates the scene in a really realistic way. And here's another fire example. So we have a vortex of fire is swirling through an abandoned warehouse. And it's a really unique looking video with some realistic fire and smoke simulations. And here we have a tsunami coming through an alley. And this looks incredible. The water wave simulation in this is just so lifelike. And yeah, it's very, very impressive. So this one is a similar prompt, but with the wave coming towards us. And here is some impressive smoke simulations. So this is an erupting geyser. Even the light coming through the smoke on the right hand side just adds a bit of depth to it. And I love this one, so I chose to do a portrait style video on this one with an erupting volcano. And the smoke coming out of the volcano looks insane. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with how this one has come out. It looks like someone's just taking phone footage of an erupting volcano. And here's some extra VFX shots. Now let's have a quick look at how Hotshot deals with text. Now, this can be a very mixed bag. As you can see with this video, I used a prompt of a person holding a sign that says hello, but it doesn't have the correct spelling, even though it's good animation on the video. And again with this one, it's a really nice looking video. I told it to spell out atomic. It hasn't spelt it properly. It's put aponic for some reason. Yeah, so I think it's still got a bit of work to get the spellings right, but sometimes it can get it right. Like in this one, it's a bear in a grocery store holding up a very good sign, and it's got the correct spelling. So maybe you just have to do multiple prompts for it to get to work. And here's another video. And it looks like the kangaroo is holding up a subscribe sign, which isn't completely spelt correctly, but you get the gist. So if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Now let's have a look at how well it works with landscape shots. It does a really good job with environmental landscape shots, like this one here, which is a drone shot flying over an Amazon jungle. And this one, which is a nice kind of slow panning shot over a rainforest. And here we have a stunning video of epic mountain peaks reflected in a lake. And it has this really nice movement, kind of like the drone is flying towards the mountains. And you get that sense of scale with these mountains. And they just look incredible. And this epic shot of a camera slowly panning up to reveal the volcano, which is also reflected in the lake. And here we have a drone shot flying over a snowy forest. Now let's have a look at how well Hotshot works with animals. This is another area that Hotshot works really well with. We have a woman cuddling with a dog, and it's a really nice cozy video. But I think the proportions of the dog are kind of off as it looks very big and her hand is kind of morphing into a dog hand. But other than that, I think it looks really nice. And here we have this cinematic slow moving shot of an iguana, which looks incredible. 
here we have some golden retriever puppies wearing chef outfits cooking in the kitchen. And here we have a really stealthy looking snake kind of weaving through the bushes. It looks like it's come straight from a documentary. And you can also anthropomorphize your animals. So here we have an anthropomorphic cat holding a beer in a realistic style. And it's pretty cool. And here's another anthropomorphic cat who's taking a selfie in Paris. And you can experiment with different styles as well. So here we have this kind of creepy looking claymation style video. And it does a really good job of recreating that soft clay kind of look. And in this one we have an illustrated comic book art style. And it does a really good job of kind of emulating that art style. And here we have a kind of 3D video game style, which looks like a drunk version of Mario. And here are just a few extra prompts that I thought looked really good. I've actually created a short film using some of the clips I've created in Hotshot. I've added a few different filters to them, along with a voiceover I created in Eleven Labs, and some background music I created in Udio, all of which you can use the free versions of. So here it is. I remember back in the day when I went on an adventure to find a mythical animal. I ventured through the lush and dangerous rainforest. Venomous snakes would frequently pass by me. Memories of rowing down the long and winding rivers. I could feel the peering eyes of the wildlife as I passed by them. I wondered what they thought of me. Hopefully, I did not disturb their peaceful lives. These animals brought me much joy. I remember it like it was yesterday. I finally found the rare and majestic Azurian Eagle. I think that turned out really well. And it just shows the quality of videos you can get out of Hotshot and how you can enhance them even further in video editing. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video and I urge you to go try out Hotshot and test out the free video generations they offer. I think it's well worth a try. Remember to grab the free document containing all the prompts down below. And if you have any tips or tricks or prompts you would like to share with the community, leave them in the comment section. And we would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you'd like to check out one of our other videos, then please click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.